What's up fam? This is your girl Amanda and I'm coming back to y'all with Amanda Vlogs. So let's talk Chrisette Michelle and her fiance Douglas Biggs Ellison. Okay, so you guys know that Chrisette wrote an open letter confirming her performance at Donald Dump Trump's inauguration. I made a video about that and I posted it last week. And so a lot of people had a lot to say about her performing. They were saying that she was a sellout. It wasn't a good move for her. She was doing it for the money. I know Quest Love even said that he would pay her not to perform. And also Spike Lee, he was not feeling it as well. None of these people were actually feeling it, y'all. I wasn't even feeling it. <laughs> Spike Lee was not feeling that. He was not feeling it at all, y'all. And he went on to Instagram and he announced that he was going to pull Chris Set's song, Black Girl Magic, out of his upcoming Netflix series, okay? And so, y'all, now Chris Set and her fiance done wrote an open letter to Spike Lee, y'all. Check this out, y'all. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, Chrisette and her fiance and I said, fuck you to Spike Lee. Oh, we, they went there, y'all. They totally went there. And, you know, I'm guessing that, you know, since you got that check from this inauguration, hell, she can say what she wants to, I guess. And y'all, I do really love Chrisette Michelle's music. I even said that in the last video that I posted. I love her music. She's very underrated, but she sings from the heart, okay? I really do love her music, but my thing is this. She's over here saying in that open letter that she wanted to be a bridge and she wanted to uh, promote like the peaceful and progressive thing, but yet her and her fiance, we're saying fuck you to Spike Lee. And my thing is this, she wanted to perform at the inauguration. That was her choice. Whether it was for the money or not, I don't know. We all know money rules. Money rules, okay? And so I don't know for sure if it was for the money or if she really wanted to be a bridge and she really wanted to be the voice for the voiceless. Either way, it was her choice to perform at the inauguration. And yes, I do think it was a bad move for her, and especially with her being so underrated and she doesn't have a large following. And now that she sung at his inauguration, people are just not gonna like her anymore. And they damn sure not gonna listen to her music now, and that's for damn sure, okay? I, like I said, I do like Chrisette. I do love her music, okay? But I am not as harsh as other people when it comes to things like this. And if she wanted to be heard, she damn for sure won't be heard now. And especially from a lot of black people. And I'm just going to keep it 100 on that. And she also released her first new song since singing at the inauguration. It is called No Political Genius, which that was her hashtag in her open letter. So check out a snippet of this song, you guys. I am the black song Spike Lee won't sing. I am the black voice inauguration bells ring. I am the black sheep disguising the scared wolf. No, I'm the black elephant in the red room scared shook. White House invites me, you call me their coon. I am the butterfly growing from history's cocoon. I can carry the mantle with God as my goon. He provides the life support. I'm dying singing his tune. Church folks may not clap, but I'll sing their song. Hip hop for Jay-Z, now you say you lost one. R&B for Def Jam, Rich Hipster for Brooklyn. But Spike won't pay me a crook from Crooklyn. I'm still black girl, magic. I'm still American, tragic. I'm still born again, miracle. And we're still on the borderline, pinnacle. The brink of love or destruction. This is the junction. Will we divide in consumption of social media productions? Or will we finally unite, win the 200 year fight? 70s fist up, that's right. Did MLK die for my rights or just spite? And I'm no political genius. 
but I won't let this defeat us. I refuse to back down. I'll use my art as my crown, and you can call me your fool. Rehearse lines you didn't learn in these schools. These schools. Your hateful words won't be my definition or my defining moment, not my vision or my anger. I won't own it, nor my prison won't condone it. They will be my ammunition to fight the system. We will win them. Hope is alive. This is my stand-in for John Lewis and Ben Carson. Quest loves Spike Lee and before them. I won't divide now. That's not smart now. God before me, I won't back down. This is my damn America now. Came on a boat now. I'll rock it. Give me the mic now. I'll rock it. Gave me the vote. Didn't profit. And I'm no political genius. But these ain't politics as usual. I'm no mad dog, but I rebel. May I revel in the freedom of speech, in the art of standing for peace. Basquiat-style paint streets, on the front lines, let's meet. We can sing one song, victory, and one anthem, land of the free, as one army, you and me. Some political genius, though, I'll never be. Okay, so that was the political genius song. So, y'all let me know what y'all thoughts about this whole situation with Chrisette Michelle and her fiance telling Spike Lee, fuck you. Okay, so y'all just comment down below and y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video.